Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of In My Opinion. My name is John. My name is Lester. And I'm Chow. Yes, today we have a very special guest with us. Chow, or as people call her, Lil Chow. Actually, you're the only one that does that, but okay, <laughs> we'll go with it. <laughs> right, so we got Lil Chow with us today. Because yes. we're going to be talking about a topic that's quite current, so we thought like we should rope in a female chaperone before people call us out for being sexist. Just kidding. <laughs> nothing sexist. <laughs> but we're going to be talking about something that's been happening in the news that I think a number of us feel passionate about. And I think by a number of us, I mean people like me. Yeah, but before that, follow us at IMO.pod to, uh, to catch up with whatever inf- like posts or like any other new episodes that we're coming out with. We're going to end the season in four episodes time. Mm. So stay tuned for the next four episodes. Yeah, and great. because you guys seem to like HTHC so much, we kind of brought some drinking in today. So <laughs> <laughs> cheers to that. Where's Alistair's drink? Ah, it's okay. It's too far away from me. Clink your glass, Clink. Alistair. Clink. 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 Nice. Thank you. Perfect. All right. Um, since we have a special guest today, special guest. Not very special, but I, I think you're special, so... <laughs> you are right. I need a special guest. <laughs> special guest. Maybe... You, what, what what are we going to be talking about today, special guest? I know I put you in the spot. Yeah, okay. I did ask John beforehand about what we'll be talking about, but I guess he's leaving it to me. Yeah, yeah. So, am. we did want to discuss about this uh, particular incident that happened very recently. There's mm. been a case that has been ongoing for a couple of months to almost a year now. Yes. Uh, it's the Natalie Xiao, Natalie Xiao's case. Yes. And yeah, yep. what happened, just to give everyone a bit of context, is that there was a slashing incident yes. at Orchard Towers. Yes. And this took place around May last year, if I'm not wrong. Just February pull up to all the May. Facts. Yeah, pull up the facts. But it happened earlier in the first half of 2019. Mm. And the trial received a lot of attention because of Natalie Xiao. Mm. Uh, I guess you could say she's conventionally attractive. That's what uh, a lot of people on Hardware Zone were saying. Basically, all the uncles were saying, oh, this is a chobu. Yes. Literally, I think I read uh, people saying chobu cannot go to jail. Yeah. Not yeah. for real. Yeah, so Jeez. there... Are you, are you, did you not Is this not, Is this news uh, to you? No, I, I thought we were only going to talk about the influencer thing and not the... No, Chobu it's because this is important show. because this is the backstory. Yeah, Okay, I okay. Think, I didn't know this. Mm. I didn't know this. Okay. So, yes. Continue, continue. So, on Hardware Zone, there were uncles and... Okay, I'm assuming uncles, but people in Hardware Zone were saying things like, Natalie Xiao is too pretty to be a murderer. Natalie Xiao is a chobu and she cannot go to jail. Mm-hmm. And yeah. there was even a hashtag, justice for Natalie Xiao. <laughs> Uh, I think this whole incident was very reflective of just how society treated people who are maybe conventionally attractive or mm. are beautiful in that way. Physically beautiful, maybe. And yes. I'm not disagreeing that she's not attractive. What the heck? That's not, that's not what I mean at all. But mm-hmm. I don't agree with the way the vast majority, okay, I wouldn't say a majority, but as long as Some there is la. this, yeah, as long as there's this voice and yeah. the voice has a platform Correct. to reach people, it's not very healthy inside Correct. to share with people. Yeah. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, basically Natalie Xiao was the girl that was involved in the Orchard Tower murders. So if you already want to find out more about the history of the case, you just have to quickly Google Orchard Tower murders and a lot of information will be, will be pulled up regarding that. So Natalie Xiao <laughs> basically was this girl who is one of the people involved and in fact if i remember correctly i mean in the comments you can correct me if i'm wrong she was the only girl in the video that was involved in the assault on this particular guy which resulted in his death Mm. you know i'm so Uh, sorry i can't find the name of 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 the victim but it's a very unfortunate case it's a very unfortunate incident with the with a loss of life but today why we are talking about it is i mean murder cases and whatever not it's not something that we would typically talk about uh, what's problematic about it is that after like what Chow mentioned, she got picked up by Hardware Zone and various forums where people say she's too chill to be a murderer or whatever not. She has essentially shot to fame on social media, mm-hmm. gaining up to 11.5 thousand followers mm-hmm. on Instagram. And there are brands it's actually crazy. endorsing her right now and calling her a KOL slash influencer. KOL is the marketing term that I don't know which agency came up with, but has now seemed to stuck. KOL stands for Key Opinion Leader. And mm-hmm. that's what we're here to discuss today because what is she a Key Opinion Leader of? <laughs> Nobody knows, right? Is it of Orchard Towers? Can I get a quick um, 
like room check like so like how how you guys like one sentence how you feel about this oh I don't feel too good <laughs> to, 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 to put to quote Spider-Man I don't feel so good mm. Mr. Stark okay <laughs> how about you Sean? I think I am very disappointed but not mm. surprised mm. Yeah. and I hate that I'm not surprised yeah, yeah yeah I hate that it's almost an expectation for people to react that way like it do be like that sometimes it right? really truly do be <laughs> like that sometimes yeah and no. I just feel like okay I think for us discussing the case right now I think it's very important for us to recognize that someone's life was lost mm. yeah, and yeah. it is a very serious it's a just a very serious thing it's that, a heinous crime that's exactly what I can say. and this person truly didn't deserve to lose his life over something like this yeah. Wait, regardless her, of what didn't happened didn't her charge like go down to uh, assault mm. or something mm. okay so I just want to say that uh, let me just put it out there to our audience that are watching personally I don't want to I don't dispute the sentencing okay I feel that our court of law and our judicial system will be able to cover these kind of these kinds of incidents to adequate um, levels of justice and mercy mm -hmm. that's not what I want to talk about today mm -hmm. what I have a case against is the fact that as a result of her infamy her crime which resulted in someone losing their life she gained internet clout to the point whereby people brands are endorsing her yeah mm -hmm. but if we really want to break it down what are the brands on endorsing her for right yeah her appearance what is it what you know there are many attractive people out there mm -hmm. but the brands are endorsing her I feel firstly because of her appearance and secondly because of how quickly she rose to fame mm. and in a very ironic sense she rose to fame because of the people the brands are also trying to sell to okay, right? okay yeah. and this is very prob problematic because essentially she is not a famous person who has done nothing to be an influencer or KOL except be involved in an incident that caused someone to die. That's mm. true. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't think that's... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. If any of y'all think otherwise. Like, okay, I always on IMO, I like to like to encourage our viewers. If y'all have a different view, right, I encourage y'all to try to change my mind. Because right now, from the way I see it, right, I mean, if she's a reformed criminal or whatever, she wants to start her own business and whatever, you know, more power to you. But... The problem is, clearly, her appearance is the brand and her appearance only became the, the brand because she's attractive looking and became discovered via crime. Mm. And how, that's not okay with me. And the fact that there are brands that list her as like a key opinion leader or like an influencer on their page, you can actually go and check it out, right? And the fact that whoever is managing her page knows what's up and that's why it's moderating, limiting, and in fact, deleting negative comments. Mm. Clearly, people are aware of what's going on. There's no like, oh, I don't know. I just wanted, I just decided to post my pictures and people like me. No. You clearly know what's up. Yeah. Maybe just a bit of context about the page itself. Mm. So there were significant increases in the number of followers that uh, were on mm. Natalie Sales Instagram that were following basically the trend of every time she was reported in the news. Correct. So oh, really? it was, yeah, if you look at Social Blade statistics, you can yeah. see that there were I'm spikes. I'm going to pull it up right now. There were spikes in whenever the incidents happened. So in the recent times, mm. just over the week, uh, there were another, they released the results of yeah, her case. Yeah, yeah. So that was another time where she received a, a lot of uh, increase in followers. Mm. I think it was uh, about 2,000 increase, 2,000 mm -hmm. people followed mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. because of that. Um, and yeah, like John said, it really is the basis of which she garnered her following, I guess. Mm. Then, uh, and also he mentioned that people were moderating her account. So she had a couple of Insta stories saying that, uh, her friends and her family were now controlling the account because I think now she's serving her jail term. So yeah, she can't use she's her She's currently code. behind bars. Yeah. Okay. So because... Her family and her friends were moderating, moderating the account. They knew fully well that people would be commenting things about her jail sentence. So there were comments about her going to jail and they were removed very quickly as well. Mm. So if you go to her account now, I'm not sure if they have unlocked the commenting, no. but it used to be blocked for it's quite still some blocked. time. It's still uh, limited. Yeah. So essentially what it means is that the, the administrator of that limitation will be able to control what kind of comments appears. Yeah. 
Uh, I I'm, mean, okay. social media is a tool hmm. and when it's put into different hands, it's just used in a different way, I guess. I'm hmm. going to play the devil advocate here. Hmm. I mean, hmm. you guys have a very clear opinion. I when, when John pitched me this idea, I didn't exactly have much of an opinion. I think because I've seen it before. Mm. Like, we've all seen it before. Like, the London bombings, I'm not sure, I'm not wrong, the London bomber, was after his photos were released online, they were like, wow, this, this guy is so handsome. And he got, like, quite a following because of how he looked like. Mm. So, this is something that, like, from the start we knew was going on. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really feel much about it. Okay. For, okay, so, I'm just thinking from, if you really want to try to dispute your 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 views, right? Yeah. What, like, what's so wrong with someone who is trying to secure a future outside after she leaves jail? Like, if she actually manages to become an influencer because of this, mm. isn't it like a blessing for her? Like, isn't it trying to like reform her in a good yeah. way? So why why does it matter how she got it? It clearly does matter, okay. and I want to explain to you why. Yeah. Because the thing about it is like what I mentioned earlier. If she is she comes out as a reformed criminal, yeah, right. More power to her, in fact, because I, I, I feel that that's a success in itself. That's a win. Mm. Um, growing out of a serious crime like that, becoming a better person, that's a win. Yeah. But the fact is, before she has served her sentence, mm. she shot to infamy, not, or, or rather shot to fame, not because she's a reformed criminal. But you don't know that, what? You don't need to serve jail term to be a reformed criminal. But, so like, where's, the, where's that line? I guess if she has ever even addressed it before mm. publicly, mm. since now she has a public platform, right? Yeah. If she has ever addressed it before and talked about her turning over a new leaf or uh. her intentions or her efforts, mm. okay. if there was any indication of where her past was yes. before mm. she is where she is now, yeah. I mean, they are censoring the comments that are going on her account. They are fully well trying mm. to control and curate yeah. what is seen on her public platform. Mm. So they, they want to cut off all ties of her past. Mm. So mm. there's no... Mm, there's no... There's no reflection. real excuse, you yeah. know? There's no real but excuse it, for what's happening. Yeah, but like... I, I don't, Okay, so like, I'm just thinking, like, yeah. you... Obviously, as a brand, let's say you take her as a brand. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right, she... You don't want to be associated with a jota because of people Correct. like the society who will go okay. like, she's a, she was a criminal last time, I'm not going to follow her, or I'm not going to do this. Yeah. So naturally... To give herself the best shot after she does really come out from jail, right? Yeah. She'll naturally want to not be associated with jail or not be associated with murder. That is true. But, so. but let me tell you why this is roundabout, wrong in a roundabout way. Okay. Because she is the brand. Her face is the brand. Mm. She's not um, starting a brand. Okay, okay. Right? Yeah. She's riding off the fact that she is attractive uh -huh. and that is the brand. But isn't that most influence? <laughs> yeah, but, no, not all, but none of the influencers killed someone. Okay, okay. Right? So yeah, the yeah, only yeah. reason, sure. like I said, there are a lot of attractive looking people out there. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. But why are there not many attractive people with her level of following? Okay. Because none of them were put into the spotlight. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sure. The reason yeah. why she garnered this amount of following, mm -hmm. right, is because she got put in a spotlight for being involved with killing someone. So I have the article here. Let me just share with you what we how I what I see. Okay. Yeah. So actually, uh, Mothership mentioned it back in twenty nineteen in October uh, about how China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Malaysia media. So actually, regional media uh, mentioned that Natalie Xiao escaped uh, death penalty because of her looks. In fact, there were multiple articles, and there's what? even a screenshot of the hardware zone um, command where she's just an innocent bystander. Chiobu cannot be murderer. Chiobu don't pang sai. Support Natalie, justice for Natalie. But the law doesn't give a shit. Right? No, but let yeah, me give you an example. Day? Let me tell you what happens after this. Okay, so okay. this article was published in October um, 2019. Yeah. On Social Blade on October, she gained 1,400 new followers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what is the reason? Let me ask you. Okay? Yeah, yeah. True, you want to be you, you mentioned that you know it could be a reform criminal kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with an article that comes out like that, the hit the headline is okay, the mm -hmm. headline is China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Malaysia media says Natalie Xiao escaped death penalty because of her looks. And then she gains from uh October onwards mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 1,400 followers. What do you think caused that increase in followers? I mean it's the news lah. Is it the news? Or is it because people have a very warped understanding of what attractive is? Wait, why? As in, no, I don't, I don't mm. understand. Like, why, so is basically, why is it warped? Why is it warped? Yeah, as because in, like, attractive, reason, she's like objectively attractive. Right? She, I mean, it, I mean, she's like, conventionally attractive. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. But the problem is the only reason she got into the spotlight 
was because of something that could potentially get her the death penalty. And is that okay? But is that up to her? No, that's not up to her. So is it her fault? Does no, she it's not her fault. No, we're not saying it's her Nobody fault. It that. is yeah. definitely yeah. not her fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in fact, she's just capitalizing on it. Which yeah, is, exactly, honestly, yeah. there there's nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah. If she came out and she, oh. say, after she served her sentence, she wanted mm. reform and everything, she yeah. took in her stride to really turn over yeah. a new leaf and make a change and honestly capitalize mm. on this opportunity. So be it. Yeah. It's so perfectly it's not the, it's fine. the effort or like the... Or like the at least showing that she is a changed person. No, 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 no. The problem is, is the people, the, the, the 1,400 yeah. people, the 11,000 <laughs> <000 laughs> people. I understand, I, understand, I, understand, I understand. I'm just thinking like, what can she, what could she have done? What could she have done? Okay, honestly, if I were to, if I were to be um, hyper-moralistic and idealistic and, and say here, she will shut down that account. Oh, huh? Yeah. I mean, Ooh. okay, that's me being hyper moralistic. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I know a lot of people watching this are not gonna mm. agree with me. Yeah. Okay? And that's Neither fine. That's but fine. I'm of the opinion that if, let's say, you're a criminal, okay, yeah. uh, uh, recent example, for example, where mm. people were shut down by, by bad activities, like, for example, we can go even go further back all the way to the Eden Ang era and stuff like that, right? Yeah. When people are faced with these kind of things, uh, I wouldn't be surprised that they actually do gain a certain number of followers yeah every time yeah every time there's yeah. scandal because like no matter what attention but what be, do these people yeah. do most of the time they, they take a step back they remove themselves because the negative backlash is yeah. what comes with that kind of attention mm-hmm. but the problem here is okay yeah. people give her a lot more attention mm-hmm. her reaction to it is not to use it as a platform to, to make up for her mistakes she's starting to profit off of it so this mm-hmm. has started a cycle that is really dark because think about this, okay? okay? Firstly, you gain a lot of followers because of a news article covering your your involvement in someone's death. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. As a result of that, you gain followers. Mm-hmm. And as a result of that, after that, you gain enough followers that brands want to advertise with you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You become an influencer, especially in the eyes of young people. Yeah, okay. And yeah. the choice that was done after that is instead of using this as a platform to own up for the mistakes, you use this as a platform to profit and limit the negative comments that come. That's mm-hmm. like, let's say we come back, go back to the Eden Ang example. Mm-hmm. That's like when Eden Ang did whatever he did, yeah. right? Gained the infamy. Yeah. And he continued to advertise and, and censor the type of comments that mm. appear on his account. Did he gain followers I'm pretty sure he would have. Okay, okay. I mean... I, I mean, it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, right. it, yeah. doesn't it really matter. doesn't matter at this right. point in time. Either Ang is just a case study that I'm just trying to get off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people that are like that. Yeah. You talk about the Boston bomber, for example, or whatever. Boston? I have no uh, idea. London bomber, I'm whatever sorry. you mentioned earlier. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Who if they gain a following and then they yeah. continue to use the following to be an advertising platform, that's profiting off again because of infamy. And that's mm-hmm. not... That doesn't sit well with me. Yeah. I think it's Ooh. a it's very hard to say because it's yeah. not wrong. It it's really not wrong, is not wrong. a wrong. You know what's wrong? It, I'm just gonna put it out there. Society is what's wrong. <laughs> Society is what's wrong. Because mm. think about it. Why are people following her? I mean, if only social blade can give me the gender demographic and the yeah. age demographic. But I mean it I mean it's not it's not anything new, right? Like I, I'm not surprised. No, but if it's, it's not so new. So what if it's not, not anything new? Yeah. Are you not Upset by the fact that it's not anything new. I'm like, I'm like resigned. <laughs> you have given up. <laughs> but, why, re- it, but resigned is not a good thing to have for because this kind I don't of see incidents. A, I don't see a way we can solve it. Like, no matter what, right? You looks know, are going to be a way, uh, uh, like, I, a if everyone took factor. this approach to things like climate change and uh, but climate change, you can uh, actually LGBTQ change, right? issues and racism, then we yeah. would never solve any issues because the issues always look larger than, than we can do anything yeah. about it. Sure. But the fact is, right, if enough people take the right action against these kind of things, yeah. there will be some kind of pressure to do something different. John, what do you think mm. the right action is in this case? The right action is in this case is to tell your friends not to give someone like this exposure mm-hmm. for the wrong reasons. Okay. Right? Okay, sure. If she's a reformed criminal, right, and she wants to grow her brand as such, yeah. encourage her to do it as such. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But the problem is, like, the problem comes, okay, yeah. when people are following someone because they're attractive and got put into the spotlight because of crime. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, she, ideally, shouldn't be the brand. Why? Well, at least not yet. 
until it Absolutely. is something more until she is something more than just someone that was involved in Correct. a crime. Correct. Mm-hmm. And I think that's that's the key, you know, that's the crux of the issue here. Okay. She is currently yeah. nothing more than a loosely put murderer with a pretty face. Oh, mm-hmm. that's actually true, unfortunately. I mean, I mean, you may you may you may call me out for saying this. I, I don't necessarily mean that she's a murderer in the eyes of the law because clearly the law cleared her off that charge. Mm. That's fine. But maybe I want to put it as she is someone who it was involved in the death of another person with a pretty face. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. And that is I don't know, that's 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 not that's not a good brand to have. And thinking... that sends a terrible message to to the more impressionable people who are following mm. her platform yeah. I agree I mean all this like it kind of stems from like even Paris Hilton like like apparently recently in the documentary of Paris Hilton they actually revealed that a lot of her sex tapes I think the later ones were actually planned so she planned to release it because she gain, she knows she will get in from me from it she yeah. never exactly said that it was planned but they, the person who released the sex tape said that yeah. both parties had to give him consent to release it mm. it was not a like a leak kind mm. so like like from the start, we always know that like there's a very f- gray area between infamy and normal f- like fame. Yeah. So like people, there are a lot of people who live within that area. People like Paris Hilton, people, yeah. people like even Xiaoxue. Yeah, yeah. As, I think there's a difference in the way it was attained. See, okay. if Paris Hilton did something like that, she was inflicting something onto herself. Yeah. yeah, it's just that in this case, it was very outwardly affecting someone else's life. Mm. Yeah, and I think that is the issue, and also that. Not saying that Paris Hilton did something good or like yeah. that that is acceptable in any way. Mm. But ultimately, whenever you are, you become a person who has a platform on a, a public platform and it has garnered some sort of traction, mm. you ultimately are someone who can influence other people. Yes. Because of course, yeah. whatever you say and whatever you do generally has more exposure. Yeah. And the thing about social media is that there are a lot of undiscerning users. Yes. Which will lead it just has a very bad influence in the long run. Mm. If it tell if you tell people that uh, it's okay to do this, it's okay to commit a crime because you can get away with it if you are attractive. Correct. It's, it's, oh. it's, it's a terrible message to, to share. Yes. Okay, and yes. can you imagine people yeah. who are within her, say her friends, knowing that she might have gotten a... Uh, people who maybe admire the fame that she has managed to garner mm. over the past couple of months, people who look up to that and think, oh shit, that's something that I want to attain. Mm. What if they see this as a pathway for them? Mm. You know, social okay. media, um, fame on social media has become something that's very desirable in our present society. Uh, like it or not, this is something that, that sits high on the tier of list of things that people want. Do, mm. do you agree? Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, so, it's, I mean, it's, it's I think viewed as the... Bit, especially video. within our social circles because we are in the media. Yeah, and I, I think I see this a lot, especially with our viewers. A lot of them want to be a part of social media fame, which is, I think, on its own, one of the funny things that has happened because of social media. Yeah. So having someone who shot to infamy because of a crime is sending a very poor message to those that are more impressionable. But like what you mentioned, did she do anything wrong in the social media sense? Absolutely not. Nothing. I mm. don't think she did any, anything yeah. wrong. She's yeah. just someone that is profiting from this. Yep. Yeah. Which is okay. Mm-mm. But where it gets problematic is where, what is, like for example, what is the reason she is famous? Yeah. Mm. Clearly yeah. less than stellar reasons. Yeah. Right? And the other thing that's problematic is brands that are profiting off this person's fame. Mm. So like for example, mm-hmm. I I I'm I'm gonna call out a brand here because because I don't care, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. Okay, so gonna... before John does that, I just wanna talk a bit about how brands market with influencers. Yeah. I think brands who are able to use influencer marketing. Okay, so influencer marketing basically has garnered a lot a lot of traction in the recent years because it is a very cost effective way of marketing, which is why businesses hop onto it very quickly. Mm-hmm. And it's a Good and bad thing. Good for the business. You cut. You have less cost involved in your marketing. Yeah. But if they're not careful with who they choose to yeah. to market with, they can lose their branding. That is their own business problem. But yeah, yeah. they can give credibility to someone. And okay. if they're giving credibility to a criminal, uh-huh. that that's problematic to me. Yeah. Okay. Go so ahead, so ahead. let me just let me just just uh list it out since I mean it, it's not it's not 
It's not private. Yeah, it's not info private. La, yeah. Okay, so I just want to share it's with everyone. All there. So there is this Lash company that has listed um Natalie Sale, right? As a KOL, right? So KOL Natalie Sale, and then it's on 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 their Instagram page. Yeah. But it makes me wonder, first question that I have for our audience, especially if you're watching this, what is she a key opinion leader of? Right? What is she a KOL of? Yeah. And the next thing is, why is hers the only post where comments are disabled? Oh. Ah. Uh, right? Oh, yeah. that I did not know that. Yeah, Means so, they are fully aware about what's happening. So clearly something is happening because the later posts and everything, mm-hmm. the comments are, uh, are enabled, everyone's free to comment. Uh, when I when I click into the comment section, it's not limited of in any way. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. Do, do you know this? You know what? What does this imply? Is it a big company? Uh, the company has about ten thousand followers. I don't okay. know if a company is big or not. It's just that. What do you think this implies? Mm. Why don't you tell me, Alistair? What do you think this implies? I mean, they. I mean, they obviously know what they're getting into. They know that like, she probably didn't have the eat the most clean rice to fame. But I just, okay, the only hesitation I have, of course I hear you guys, the mm. only hesitation I have is that, like, as a criminal, your your rise back to the society or like, the way you assimilate back to society is already very, very difficult already. Mm. And then, the fact that this person had an easy way out, right? Like, I, I, I like hesitate a little bit to like, chastise, chastise her or mm. chastise anyone that's supporting that too much because, like, obviously she hasn't other than obviously she caused someone's death she, and she will pay for that because she's going to jail but once she come out of jail we have to kind of assume the best for her she, we have to assume that she's going to reform she, we have to assume that she's going to be mm. the best human she can be mm. correct mm. and like if we continue to like ask her to like hey you know what did you going to like pull her back down right yeah. then isn't that kind of sucky for her because like Mm. now she can never go back up with this route ever again no I, I agree I agree in fact I agree you know I, I feel that like as someone who has I, I always believe in rehabilitating someone who has been through uh, an experience that is not so good in their life yeah. be it you, you are the victim or be it you are the perpetrator I totally agree Yeah. but the problem right here is that there are things there are clearly darker themes here and clearly mm. more things to address mm. and like what Chow mentioned is if her brand is Reformed criminal. Yeah. That's different. She but should now, have said something. La. But now, no, but now she is KOL before the fact that she's a reformed criminal. Okay. Mm. So why is she a KOL off? And mm. is that ethical mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. just ride on the conventional attractiveness to advertise with a criminal? Is that ethical? <sighs> I ask you, do you think about that? I think this is ethics. Ethics is a little bit grey. Yeah. Mm. But do you think that's ethical? I think it's a very big question and it's a question that we need to answer right after this break because right now oh, our okay. cameras are dying. Camera, so camera cut first. let's cut. Yeah, so continue with your train of thought. Oh yeah, uh, I mean, ethics yeah, is a very um, very gray area, right? Yeah. Like no one really knows. For me personally, the way I look at it is that, okay, the brand probably went like this. Uh, I, I 10K is not a big brand in my opinion so she, they definitely have like they probably definitely went like okay we don't have that much budget let's try to invest in someone that we think might rise to fame and as a brand your priority is to stay alive and to make the most money etc etc correct and especially during this time COVID tough times uh. yes so they probably just went like hey this is getting us this is probably going to pay dividends in the future like they're just investing into it Mm. And maybe to them, it's not a big deal that like, she went to jail and she come back out because, I mean, maybe to them, they're like, you know what, I think she's okay as a human being. We trust that she won't continue to mess her life up. And they just invested in it. Mm. So, I, I don't know. I, 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 as much as I think it's very iffy, because like, it sends a very wrong message, regardless of mm. what in the, her, their intention is, right? When people look at this, they immediately go like, so you're being, you're endorsing this action, you're endorsing a criminal. Mm. So the message is definitely wrong. Mm. I'm just thinking like, from their point of view, it's probably not that off of a business decision. It's actually quite a reasonable okay. business decision. Okay, I, 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 I want to disagree with you a lot, on a lot of grounds, because I feel that you're making a lot of excuses for these brands. Yeah, okay, fine. And, fine. and I think that, firstly, um, that's a very convoluted way of thinking about people's intentions. Mm-hmm. Because I think the only part that I personally feel you got right is that they're trying to profit off this person's rise to fame and in a very cutthroat way, 
it doesn't matter to the brand how this person rose to fame, right? And I think that's the crux of the issue here. Yeah, it doesn't because, matter, yeah. Because clearly, mm. why this is a bit more important than I would say a lot of other reform criminals and stuff yeah. is because someone actually lost their life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which, I mean, if I were to ask you to put that reasoning to the family members of someone who is the victim. Yeah, yeah. How would you justify that to the family? I mean, you can't. Uh, and it's... it's I... Wait, the assault is assuming that she is not the As in, main I, I think I don't right? think it matters what the sentence or the final judgment is. I yeah. think I'm glad. Is- I'm, I'm actually actually kind of glad that she does not has, have to receive the death penalty for murder yeah. because she gets to become a better person after jail. That's fine. Yeah. In fact, I trust our judicial system. I don't think there's an injustice here. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. glad that there's mercy shown, mm. which yeah, is yeah. great, mm. which goes to show the, show the great lengths that our justice system goes to. Yeah, yeah. But what's problematic is she, before she even serves her sentence, mm. she has come out of an incident where someone has died better off. That's true. In fact, when you mentioned that maybe the brand doesn't care about the jail term, yeah. I think that is not really the point. I think mm. the point is that it was so it's so serious to extend to the extent that someone lost their life. And it feels like nobody is giving that enough attention. Mm. It feels like nobody is taking that seriously. Mm. Yeah. And in fact, they are focusing on the perpetrator, the, the person who had influence on, on whether or not this person was going to live. Mm. Yeah. I feel like there's just a lot of... What you said about the ju- judicial system. Yeah. There's injustice, but not there. There's injustice between the lives. If you compare what happened to the yeah. lives of the victim mm. and to Natalie Seale. There is mm. a lot of, there's a lot of injustice going on there. And this was enacted upon not by the judicial system. Yeah. But by, by members of society. <laughs> yeah. yeah. By the by the eleven point five. I don't know how many right now. Is it five? It's, it's quite many. Eleven point yeah. six thousand followers. And two days ago I I it was about eleven point four. So the increase is pretty stark. Yeah. yeah. And if you think about it, right, she goes mm. into prison for for five months. Yes. Right? Which is a lot of people are joking about this on the streets. <laughs> they they say that, oh, it's shorter than an internship and then I come out as an influencer with my own brand it's true and yeah and that is where it doesn't sit too well with me because what about the victims of the family now if we think about this this way this is where it gets problematic and this is what me trying to appeal to the general public the the, the society part that we are pointing out if yeah. let's say the victim and the perpetrator were flipped okay mm. if the one that passed away was someone uh conventionally attractive like at least Yao, mm-hmm. right? And the perpetrator was some guy. Will he rise to fame? Probably not. Uh, right? Yeah. No, and the world no. will not think twice. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Why? Because they think, oh, justice is served, everything. Right? Mm. And I hope if that's the case, you know, whoever the perpetrator is, you know, gets reformed and whatever. Yeah. But the problem here is, right, instead of the world not thinking twice. Yeah the perpetrator ends up better off before justice is even served. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So I what, what, and this, this, that, that, there lies the problem. Have we, have we, have we, I mean, whoever is the followers, you know, have we con- stopped to put ourselves in the shoes of the victim's family mm. when following someone like this? Yeah. Clearly not, because mm. what's attractive is, is whatever we're following, right? Yeah. And this I, is I, problematic I because, like, what kind of message are we sending to our impressionable youth who mm. are on the same platform? I know people will idealistically mm. say, oh, it doesn't matter. I do whatever I want. It's my right. Yeah, that's true. But unfortunately, we are also part of a, like members of a society that wherein our actions affect someone else who also exists in the same society. Mm-hmm. This sets a very unhealthy and dangerous precedent. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm. And her jail sentence being so short, right, is very dangerous as well. Because if she comes out and takes this full fledge on, people are not going to remember yeah. her for the crime. Mm. Okay. People are going to remember her eventually as she progresses on mm. as a successful brand influencer. Yeah. Which is not wrong in itself. Yeah. But because it's not an isolated incident, she didn't rise to fame because she rose to fame. Mm. She rose to fame because people think she's conventionally attractive. Mm. After a killing, after let me just put this right. After someone has died, yeah, 
Okay. And that's problematic. What? Okay, then thought experiment. I don't think yeah, it's very yeah. related, but thought yeah, experiment. Yeah. If she had went to jail for drugs instead mm. or something else, would it have been more okay? No. As in, but not, no one died. It's still not okay. Let me tell you why. Okay. The, the crime, the crime shouldn't be the reason you rise to fame. It should never be the reason. Okay. In fact, a yeah. lot of times, you know, sure. these, kind of, these kind of stories, uh, infamy is something that always shoots people to, to the spotlight. Yeah, it does. Over mm. history, that's mm. what happens. Yeah. But this is always unethical. Okay. okay. This is always something that is, uh, how to say, not the best way for society to deal with someone who is con- conventionally attractive but also a criminal. No. I think it's something that we cannot really change. Yeah. Because it's such a, it's really a numbers game. It is the masses responding to a couple oh. of voices that we have here. Yeah. And it really won't make a difference. I think if we really do want to make a change, it mm. has to be a lot stronger with a lot more people. A lot more mindsets have to change and people have to really actively take an effort to move away from this kind of thinking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If we do want to help someone like like Natalie Xiao and her friends, recently there's another another court here, court court uh, decision, right, for another person who was involved in the Orchard Tower murders to be given a warning instead of of a uh, of a jail term. People might cry foul about that. I don't. I don't, personally, I feel that you know whatever helps them to become better, but it yeah. shouldn't be coming out as an influencer because of it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Right? If, that's where it's a bit dangerous because social media is such an such a democratized place. Everyone has the same um say. Everyone has sort of the the same platform. Everyone is able to imply that oh, I can be famous if I do this person's um actions. It's true. Yeah. 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 I mean. And it's ridiculous that currently the action is what. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Be that's true. pretty and involved in something serious enough that the news picks up on you yeah and do we want to send that kind of message no if the answer is no okay to our viewers if the answer is no then clearly there's something that we need to do here Mm. clearly excuse me clearly there's something that we need to remind our friends and families to do yeah and to not do and Mm. there's clearly something that we need to send a message that we need to send to our brands to our to our people you know who are who are businesses Mm. who are encouraging something a bit prematurely and a bit in the wrong way. Mm. Like, clearly, why is there a need, if let's say you are to, you are trying to support a reformed criminal, mm-hmm. why is there a need to censor comments? Yeah. I mean, cause, because you know it's not a reformed criminal. And then, no, it's like, no matter what, you don't want to be associated with it, right? Even if mm. you know that the person... Because, like, you can... I can sit here and say, like, I know that this person personally, I don't. But I can sit here and say that, and I can say, she's reformed. Everything is all cool. Mm. But, like, will people actually believe me? Mm. It doesn't matter what the truth is, right? It just matters what people's perception is, which this entire case no, which, shows. Which, which means, right, what you brought up is a very important point. Which means she shouldn't be entitled to fame at all. Because her perception is that she's a, still a criminal. Yeah. Mm. But mm. why is she in the spotlight? I'm saying that, I'm saying that like, um, the larger the larger instinct to 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 face this type this kind of cases or whatever mm. right is to is to immediately assume things, mm. Mm. even though the truth may be different. Yeah. So she might be actually reformed. Yeah. But no one, no one knows. I don't know. You, you guys don't know. Yeah, no one, no one knows. knows. I mean, that's fair. no one knows. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, but, but I feel like if yeah. she is someone who is using a platform to profit, right? Mm. Yeah, it's something that you should address mm. because people are looking at you and mm. you are influencing people, whether or not you like it. You have a voice. It's true. And if you have a voice, there is a responsibility there mm. for you to address it. Mm. Okay. Okay. And address what you represent. Address what you are. How did you get here? Mm, who okay. you are I think it really is just about who you are mm. yeah. because if everyone is saying that Natalie Xiao is just a murderer she only got five months all the comments that they basically are deleting yeah. if this is something that is not true why are you not talking about it okay okay mm. maybe she just thinks that no one will believe her no one or will what no one the will reason believe why, her like, yeah, the, why, there's a reason why the yellow ribbon project still exists right? Yeah, it's because yeah. there are people who still have this negative stigma against people who are from jail. Correct. Then let her go through the Yellow Ribbon Project. Yeah, correct. correct. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just saying that 
there's there's and stigma. There's, there's clearly something that's jumping the gun here, right? As in no, I'm I'm just saying that there's a stigma, right? Yeah, there mm-hmm. is. So there is. like it even though as I said, it might not be true that she, it might be true that she's reformed. No one is there are not no one now, but there will still be a stigma against her. And maybe that's why she'll want to remove things. And I'm just thinking like if I were <laughs> I will also want to remove her. <laughs> because no matter what I say, right, there'll be people who will be like Oh, you still criminal? Uh? Like, no matter how reformed I am, I can mm. be like the most saintly person ever. Yeah, right? there will still be people who say that. So, do you think that is a consequence that she should bear as someone who has made a mistake? Yes, uh, as serious as this. Oof. I feel like uh, okay. I feel like the punishment is dealt to her in terms of the jail sentence. Correct. She technically hasn't served it yet, yes. but she once she comes out of it, right? We should just assume that she's just normal already. No, but uh, regardless, should that still be a consequence that she bears? That like that people still stigmatize her. Wow, I don't know, man. You, what about you, child? I don't know. I don't think know. Think about it. Think about it. I think that's. I think that's important because mm. right now you're making a lot of assumptions, right? Based on mm. based on this, right? Yeah. But I feel that as a member of, unfortunately, we are all members of this society. Yeah, yeah. When we do things that are heinous enough, there are consequences to bear that's beyond the law. Mm-hmm. It's like one of those. It's things. just a social thing. It's like one yeah. of those things that you just said like earlier about how we can't change. It's just like that. It be a like, resigned kind of. It thing. do be like that sometimes. Yeah. It really do be like that. Yeah. Let me give you an example. Okay, if you want to talk about refined, reformed people, talk about people who have gotten into trouble and whatnot. Yeah. A very good example is Eden Ang. What's he doing right now? <laughs> no one is. I have no idea. Guys. I think that's he started a tuition me. app. So, <laughs> yeah. no, but, but, but that's besides the point. Yeah, but, but but you think about it. Are you making excuses for him? No. Are people making excuses for him? I, what, are, you, people, are brands still listing him? Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Why and why not? Mm. Right? Mm. Why not? You know, I think our point is really not that she shouldn't be forgiven. Mm. I think, of course, she should mm. over time. She absolutely When should. she learns and when she turns over a new leaf, mm. she, she re- deserves to come back into society for sure. Mm. I yeah. would definitely want that for her. It's just that nothing was addressed. Yeah. Nothing was addressed and she mm. was already succeeding she was already profiting and, yeah. and mm. benefiting from nothing else but her crime so just like the, no matter what her truth is the message that comes out of it is super wrong and like unless she does something to change that message no, okay be, let me give uh, you an example maybe a better way to paint this picture is let's yeah. say the next time natalie if you're or whoever you whoever is managing her page if you are watching this next time around if you would like to come on our show Please I do. would like you to come on our show Please and do. tell us the backstory of becoming an influencer. Yeah. Now, this is a thought experiment when I say this. I don't mean to target you or to say that you are, you are, you are a bad person or whatever, mm. right? Let's try to separate you from the crime because I think it's a very dehumanizing thing to do when we just associate you as a criminal, right? But the thing about it is that what happens if the rise of fame, the backstory is not something that you can properly explain? Mm-hmm. What happens if the rise of fame... This is something that you cannot properly reconcile in a public way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right? Why? And, and, and why can she not? Mm-hmm. Clearly, therein lies the problem. Okay. Right? If people are willing to come out and say, yes, I follow her despite her being a criminal because she's pretty, that is a clear admission that that's the reason. Mm. And that is the, that is the crux of the issue that we're trying to point at here. Okay. Because she's conven- conventionally attractive, Yes. And as a result of the crime putting her in the spotlight, she has gained a place in society that's favourable to most. Because on social mm. media, a lot of people value that kind of social media fame. Yeah. In fact, gaining sponsorships, a lot of our younger and impressionable audiences will think that, hey, influencers get free things. Mm. I want to be an influencer. Yeah. So when you do things like this that elevate someone like Natalie Xiao, okay, into infamy or fame in, for this matter... This is the kind of yeah. role model you are uplifting for our younger, impressionable followers. Mm. Yeah. And I think that is the problem here. Nothing wrong with trying to let Natalie Xiao reform. In fact, mm. for, I, I would like to think her friends should come out of this better people, mm. yeah. should face the remorse, face the consequence and become better people. Mm. But not gain the clout and the fame and the sponsorships, and the money, and the success Mm -mm. before the criminal uh, system even acted upon her. Mm. Okay. And that's very problematic because, you see, it sends a very bad message and the fact that there are brands that tag along this 
it's even worse because mm. you you essentially enable this kind of behavior yeah honestly just now i, sp- I spent like a good three minutes trying to explain why the brand might have done it right but uh to be very honest i have no idea why <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's a very terrible business decision. I'm just trying to like <laughs> no, and, think from their and, point of view why they might think it yeah, is one. And, and, and the fact that and the fact that it you know people censor the comments, even yeah. friends remove the comments <laughs> from that post. It's a very clear indicator that there are people who are pointing this out, mm. and they simply just want to silence that fact. Yeah, yeah, and and, and that's that's a terrible way to approach it. Yeah. I mean, if you as a brand, okay. Whatever Lash company you are, I'm not going to call you out. But basically, this Lash company on the public platform, if you truly believe that, that someone like Natalie is able to forward your brand, by all means. But yeah. there's no need to censor the comments. Mm. Because clearly, you're censoring the comments because currently she's not good marketing. Mm. And why is she not good marketing? Because... Of the shit that's happened. Because of what she's associated <laughs> yeah. with. Correct. And yeah. like how you mentioned that there's a yellow ribbon project, right? Yeah. If she's able to come out and become an inspiration for future criminals. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's a fantastic message to send. An extremely powerful message to send. Mm. I reformed myself and I found success. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. But right now, what's her backstory if I ask you to summarize it in one sentence? I mean, she was involved in a, in a murder, uh, assault, yeah. and then because she's pretty, she just became an influencer. And yeah. it doesn't take a rocket scientist to come to that conclusion. Yeah. It's true. It's so true. I give you an example and why this is dangerous. As adults, we're discerning enough to not let this affect our life. What if... Kids. What are... if there's a kid who yeah. thinks that, you know, I, think I make a crazy video, I become famous. And I maybe, maybe we don't look at this as something that is so realistic because we only got social media in our teenage years, right? Yeah. But these people, the younger ones, grew up with social media and they're a true. lot more involved with it. They're mm. a lot more naive and a lot more impressionable. They may mm. really look at social media as what is real. Yeah. yeah. It's like how people, when, when, when 90s kids, when we aspired to be the MTV stars, mm. we all aspired to be the rock stars and stuff like yes. that. Yes. I feel that in this current age, right, our younger generation, our Zoomers, especially the younger ones, mm. are aspiring to be social media stars. Yeah, I agree. Aspiring for social media mm. fame. Yeah. But when there's an incident like this, it sends a terrible message. Yeah, I you know? agree. And the problematic thing is that, in a, in a very funny way, a lot of people who encounter wrongdoing gain infamy and are taken down from the platform. Mm. But hers is the other way around. The other way around, yeah. Mm. That's true. You know? And this is not something that is... That's good. That, 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 I don't think it's something that's, that should be encouraged. Mm. Okay. I mean, we have 10 minutes left on this episode. Why don't we just each give like a concluding thought? Like three minutes each of a concluding wow. thought. I think John is like, I need more than three minutes. I'm going to need more than three minutes. <laughs> but, but honestly speaking, okay, I know, I know we can talk a lot about this and I, this is something I feel passionately about because of my own moral code. So for those of y'all that know her, know Natalie Xiao, or, or even if your family members and friends who are managing her account and understanding all this, I encourage you to, to engage us in the dialogue in the comments below and stuff like that. In fact, if you would like to come to our show and then we talk about it a lot, mm. this is something that that doesn't sit too well with me. But I always believe, if you've seen all our episodes, that I like to have my mind changed if you're able to and to have a proper intellectual discussion. Yeah. You know, I encourage you and uh, Natalie, fan, Natalie Xiao's fans, you know, to, to talk to me. Help me understand mm. something that I don't. And, you know, for those of you that are following her for the wrong reasons, even all the way back from 2019 October, and shame on you because you think about it, what kind of message are you sending to our younger people on the platform? And that's all I have to say. Yeah. Ciao. I think to the brands that are working with her, uh, I think it's a strange marketing decision, but for a brand to come to that conclusion, there must have been some benefit that they have seen. Yeah. And I think uh, brands would just benefit from being more discerning about who they work with because at the end of the day, right, the people you choose to be your uh, brand ambassadors, they are the ones who will carry that message and carry what your brand stands for. Mm. You share this with the people that you work with. So mm. I'm not saying that they made a wrong decision. There's no wrong or right. It mm. really is just... It don't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> just a, a little bit ethically great. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel good. It and doesn't, yeah. 
it makes me lose a lot of hope in society, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah. I mean, businesses can always do what they want, but but as members of society, we must always remember to be ethical in what we do. Yeah. And that's my main message to everyone out there. Think about it. Mm. Reflect a little. And is this the right choice? Mm. And honestly, I think I would want to hear from Natalie's side. If I would, we had the opportunity. Yeah. I want to know why she never talked about it. Why she Maybe decided she did, to no, write no on manner. it. Yeah. Hmm? Did she? I actually we have I no mean idea. if you look at her Instagram no, a, which okay. is her public platform, mm. so and at the same time I want to remind all our viewers, huh? You know, let's not let's not be an echo chamber of hate here. Don't just it's oh my god, hate. she sucks, oh my god, the brand yeah. sucks, I'm a boycott. That's the typical response. And I don't want to hear that anymore yeah. because honestly everyone can say that whatever they want. Mm. I want you all to engage it with a little bit of a thought of, think about it more. Try to think it from our side, try to think it from her side, and try to think it from your opinion. And leave it in the comments below and let yeah. us think, you know, let's discuss this because clearly this is an incident that is not so easy to not so easy, not so clear cut. It is, it's not. Yeah. 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 I think like my cocooning statement is like I feel like there's not nothing in the world that's clear cut. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Nothing. I there's hands no down black agree. There's no such thing. And mm. I, like, the reason, even though I hear and understand why it's so ethically off, because even I feel like it's a bit off, I think the only reason why I'm, I was, like, a bit hesitant to straight out come out and say, like, screw the brands or screw, screw these people is because <laughs> I understand that, um, unfortunately for her to get her best life out of jail, right? Mm. This has to happen. And the brands... Oh. No, as in like, it's, it's the easiest way for her. It's helping her. It's definitely going to help her, right? Like, this is definitely going to help yeah. her. Huh? Like, no matter how you explain it, it's going to help her. And it's going to... And I would like to believe that, personally, idealistic me, I like to believe that she's going to take this opportunity and reform. And I I just want to assume that mm. maybe because I'm just sick and tired of no, I believe so too. I like to see the goodness in people enough that this yeah. happens. It's just, it just doesn't sit well that it happens right now. Because mm. think about it, in the society, in, in, in the grand scheme of things, there's clearly one USP of hers that is driving her entire traction and that is her conventional attractiveness. Yeah. A very clear-cut example of something that happened recently where, the, where society was ruthless against was someone like Ivan Lim running for elections. Mm. Because of something not as heinous as a loss of life, she he was he became what was known widely in, and on the internet as sort of the di- disgraced politician. It's true, right? Yeah. So clearly, society has a discerning enough ethical yeah. eye to act on these kind of things. Mm-hmm. But what's the difference here, right? Yeah. In fact, the crime is disproportionate to what Ivan Lim has done, but yeah. she's put on a pedestal because of her appearance. Mm-hmm. So this is something that I cannot reconcile, and that's why I encourage y'all to talk to me about this. Yeah. And in fact, I really, really would like to talk to you, Natalie, when you're out. So for for your friends and family and house and stuff, I think. I want this to be a safe space for us to properly discuss because yeah. we want to know, you know, what people think. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, as as I said at the start of the podcast, like, like I think I'm just very uh, resigned. <laughs> like, I'm just very... I mean, having studied psychology, mm. all these things don't surprise me. Like, it's very normal. It's, it's rooted in psychological research and it's yeah. rooted in our human being and our genes etc yeah. this is uh, beyond a social thing in my opinion it's mm, in our okay. in yeah. our DNA in our I guess, I guess I'm just I'm, I guess I'm just upset because yeah. people are resigning to it maybe yeah maybe yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's perhaps the reason but I mean I, I do think that in an ideal world this wouldn't have happened and this shouldn't have happened yeah, because and, like this is not the way to go about it it's definitely sending a wrong message so in an ideal world as as much as I want Natalie to be able to come out and be a better person and reform, right? I want I also want it to be done in the right way because it, there is a right way to do these sort of things. And, yeah, and it unfortunately, is. this is not this is not the right way, lah. No matter how we spin it. Yeah, and I I think to the family members of whoever the victim was, I can't remember the name. I'm so sorry, I can't find the article. But you know, to the family yeah. members, I I I I hope you found you know your peace and stuff like that. But I do encourage you to. To, to you know, engage in us in the conversation if if you do find this video because yeah. I would like to hear what you think as well because yeah let's all let's all just try to make the world a better place we can all do better yeah we can you know that's all I'm trying to say and it's a disappointing thought to to think about how it is something that we can we are resigned to but mm. yeah I think okay one last note is yes. that you did say that it's a uh, it's in our genes, it's who we are, it's just mm. psychological, right? Yeah. But have we no rational thought or mm. way to process information? I agree. 
That's yeah. all. Yeah. We have to transcend above it. Because yeah. there are a lot of things that are rooted in our genes, like racism, <laughs> like sexism, <laughs> that like because we view people as an out group, we yeah. might view them differently and we might put them down. Still doesn't justify it. So I'm just, me, it's just me. Like, I'm just, I'm a, it's a tired day. <laughs> I'm just very tired now. I just don't want to deal with it. I mean, but most of the time, Alessa been... plays the devil advocate just to give us points to talk about. But I think, <laughs> I think an incident like this is something that yeah, we just don't really have an answer to. We don't, and I mean, yeah, as Swat Chow said, we should be able to transcend these uh human animal instincts because if not, we're just as what I said, animals yeah, are. Yeah, we right? Yeah, like we don't. We, our what defines us as humans is the able the ability yeah. to have rational thought, mm. ability to use our. Uh, memories and emotions and all that to form a better yeah. decision but so it should be able to transcend it uh. absolutely but I guess the full picture way of viewing this is to also understand that maybe it's not completely not rooted in anything yeah I mean of all of all the episodes this one is the one I feel that we ended off on a pretty depressing note but thank you so much for joining us it but uh, <laughs> I want to encourage everyone as actually of all episodes this is the one I encourage the most everyone to properly Engage us in dialogue. Share yes. this with your friends and properly discuss. And when you all discuss, if you all have something to share with us, I would like to hear your point of view because yes. clearly, um, there are two, three types of people in this situation. People who feel passionately about it like me, people who feel nothing, and there are people who are for her. And, mm. you know, I want to hear all sides. I don't want to just be someone here that, that, that you know, participates in an echo chamber of hatred. I don't want that. Our platform is something that's meant to be a intellectual discussion for things that are happening and I want that to happen especially for something like this that confuses me the wise man <laughs> <laughs> and with that I mean follow us on Instagram I, I am mm. pod, follow our wonderful guest Chow oh, thank on you. Instagram we have a link down below to, but <laughs> just give her the clock <laughs> yeah. give her the clock <laughs> stop so this company Alastor. can go that company can go to her <laughs> stay <laughs> okay with that terrible thank you guys so much and see you guys next, next week stay, stay safe, safe everyone Bye. Bye.